Oh, I'm ready to go. Zach Sack of the Gag hanging out right now in the studio. Sean Grambroni. Did I kind of say it right? Oh, you said it perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he, uh, you're the star of the Goldbergs on ABC. You have a brand new se- uh, season, season three, coming out September 23rd on ABC. You play Adam Goldberg. Hello, friend. Why, hello, Zach. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, man. So, t- t- okay, you grew up in Park Ridge, Illinois. Yes. When did you want to start acting? When when I was like nine, I did like a variety show for my elementary school, and it just really got me pumped to perform. Okay. And um, and so then I went out to try and find an uh, agency to get behind. Okay. And, and then I did a couple commercials, and then uh, that led me to a voiceover on Cartoon Network, and then... <laughs> Then that led to the Goldberg. So, isn't it crazy how everything happens? You know, like so crazy. I mean, come on! Like you drive around LA, you drive around anywhere, and you're seeing billboards, your face on it, huge, promoting the show that you're the star of. I mean, uh, do you reflect at all? Is there pinch me moments for you? Oh, like any like when I see a billboard, it's crazy. Like I was watching the news and. It, it was really sad because this dog got hit by a bus, and I was oh, like, no. "Oh man!" And and but then my face was on the bus that they were showing. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> yeah, that's an uncomfortable moment. I think very uncomfortable, but it's also very gratifying. <laughs> it, it, it was like so like. I, I saw myself on a billboard, so it was like, <laughs> great. The show's but, doing well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> where, where are you? What are you doing when they first tell you that you're landing the role as Adam Goldberg? Okay, so I'm I'm out in ca- California for like, I think it's my third time I ever came out here. And, okay. And I was doing, and for the show Clarence for- uh, On Cartoon Network. On Cartoon Network, I had to come out and do the voiceover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so while I was out here, they wanted me to audition, and one of them was the Goldbergs. And so I was out here, and I was only supposed to be there for, like, out here for, like, two days yeah. or something. And uh, I auditioned, and I got a call back. So I auditioned Wednesday, got a call back Thursday, like, signing papers Friday. Wow. And then Saturday, went home to get more clothes. Monday started filming the pilot. So it was just wow. like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that, like, something you can work so hard at forever, like, it, it all hits you instantaneously, right? You could work for something for years, but then in over a span of two days, your dreams become reality. Life changed. Totally. Yeah. I mean, wow. What what do your parents think? What does your dad think? What does your mom think? Tell me everything. Like, wh- how, how's the family back at home? What's the, what's the dynamic like? Well, it, it's so great because my whole family just, like, we're like, well, if you're going out there, we're going out there, too. So I was like, great. So <laughs> it's it's me, my brother, mom, dad, and grandma. And, <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it's, a, it's a great group. And uh, uh, they, like, when I, we first heard about it, it was kind of, like, really far out. Like, we yeah. couldn't even imagine it. So. Of course. Now, how are they feeling with it? Like, do, what, how does your grandma react when she sees you on ABC? You oh, know, she loves it. She's like, um, "There's my grandson." <laughs> <laughs> How's life changed? Like, are you used to yet? Like, going out to the grocery store and getting recognized because, it, like, like, the Goldbergs is a huge show. My mom's obsessed. When I told her that you were coming in today, she legitimately freaked out for a solid six minutes on the phone with me, man. Like it, it, everybody loves it. It's such a, it, it's a popular show. What does it feel like? Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. I, but I, uh, it, it, I don't think that ever, like, I'll ever get used yeah. to that. Like people just stopping me at a grocery store or something, no. and and like, it's like who, like two years ago, like I was just at school. No one, like my friends, would notice me. I'd talk to my friends, but like no one outside of that. Yeah, nothing. No. <laughs> it's insane. So it's, it's wild. <laughs> okay, grandma loves it, mom, dad, brother cool with it. What is it like on set? I mean, you're working with some incredible actors. Jeff Garland, dude. Like, what have you learned from him over the last two seasons? Oh, like, he is, like, one of the best, like, mentor guys you could ask for. Like, yeah. And he's always goofing around. He's always singing or dancing or just cracking up jokes. There's some potty talk involved. And, uh, <laughs> it's one of that. No, no. It's, <laughs> yeah. No potty talk. It, it's pretty enjoyable. Have you learned anything from him? Has he taught you anything? Um, I mean, if you look at like what is his style? Like, have you learned anything just from watching him work? Because I feel like that it must be pretty cool. Well, like there's a couple things. Like he he teaches me a bunch of things. Like one, you can just watch him and learn some stuff. Yeah. But um, like. 
there's some times like he says, um, oh, just yesterday he taught me this great technique that I never even thought of. Like, And it really kind of like helped me simplify my thinking. And he said, um, if you just know your lines, just come into set and and then just don't bump into the furniture. And you're, you're <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so, so you just don't like – you don't try and think about like how you're going to perform it. Like you can. Like everybody's there to each their own. Exactly. But like if you know your lines and then just really listen to it. Then you'll then you'll try like you'll really like send some believable stuff out. And at, at this point, how in tune are you with Adam? Like, how uh, do you know Adam's thoughts? Do you know what Adam's going to do? You know, before you even see it on the script, like, are you in tune with that character at this point? Yeah, there's like there's certain like things like you know how he's going to react to like yeah. um, if someone like like pokes him like pokes fun to him like he'll get pretty ang- like he'll get angry or something and. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, there's like you know he's kind of like little twerks to exactly tw- twerks <laughs> <laughs> twerks to him, um, but like, um, but with comedy they always try and like they try and get you into a groove and then they like try and like spike things up so then it's like, uh, um, out of the ordinary so then of it's course. funny but, of course but yeah there is like you kind of know what Adam's gonna do. you know Adam you are Adam at a, <laughs> do you ever become Adam at a certain point because you because you're I, doing 16 hours a day I mean it, I, I, you're shooting in smaller periods than that but like you must become one with him yeah like once I'm out like once I'm wrapped like yeah. I'm still Adam like I'm still like um and then it, like takes me a whole night to like really digress back to Sean but then really? it like, builds up again so who is Sean at the end of the day when uh, you're not even thinking about Adam Goldberg who are you what do you do for fun what kind of person are you Okay, well, I really like to draw. Okay. I'm, um, like, cartoons and stuff. Very cool. Um, I like basketball and soccer. Okay. And, uh... What do you do to chill? What's, like, what's a Friday night for you? Or a Saturday night for you? I don't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that the best, though? It, oh, it's the best. I get to, like, listen to... My my brother loves music, so he's always blasting music or okay. something. Okay. And just kind of like hanging out with the family or or eating. Like, <laughs> hey, that's, that's great. It's eating a rocks. Great, great pastime. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of t- Hollywood? How do you like the people here? Have you made friends at all? The, like with my the co-stars that are like my fake friends. Like they did a great job of casting friends. So it's like <laughs> yeah. they're all great guys. And Gary and Olsen. <laughs> they're the great uh, friend actors. Yeah, <laughs> great friend actors. If I was to cast them as my real friends, it'd be phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the life here for you a lot to handle like is it a, a, a lot all at once Take, like who's guiding you through this is it your family really it's really my family like yeah. just uh yeah just kind of like going through like my brother's looking at colleges so i'll go look at colleges with them or cool. something yeah very cool okay the goldbergs september 23rd on abc you're phenomenal, man. You know how to hold an audience. You know how to like. You know how to grab attention, my friend. Well, thank you. <laughs> you really do. Okay, season three. Anything that we could be expecting? I was watching season two last night. I'm really into it, man. I love it. I love Wendy. Oh, Your mom. My. Oh my gosh, she is amazing. I always ad libbing. Like y- you never think of the things that she'll say. Yeah, I, you have to. When you're in a scene, do you need to stay that alert just in case, you know, either Jeff or Wendy will just go off and do their own thing? Oh, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what you, is there a scene that sticks out in your mind um, where you really just, you know, it started somewhere and then ended up somewhere else because you just kept it going? Ah, uh, I got to think about that. I, I um, Think about it. Think about it. Come back to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> come, okay, back I'll, to I'll me. come back to me. Come back. I could watch you think for hours, to be honest. Oh. Like, just watching you think the whole, like, you just know how to do it right. You know how to, you know the thinking pose. I, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, I, I can't think of anything. No, but when it comes, you hit me. Okay, I'll hit you up. Show set in the 1980s. How cool yes. is it to be in a period piece, honestly? Oh, it's wonderful. Get to relive, like, because, I, like, I don't really know that much about the pop culture and stuff, uh-huh. so, like... Getting to learn about it and then just living with all that vibrant colors of the eighties and of stuff and and uh the costumes are great. I oh, mean, come on, wardrobe is ama- on point. Oh, really on point. They're yeah. and it's comfy and but it like has great like dark crystal stuff and yeah. <laughs> the bedazzling is on point as well. Oh right. the, I heard all those sweaters, like a bunch of them came from the actual Beverly and Wow. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Hi. 
Hi, Heather. Sorry, I got excited. She's really into the show too. She's <laughs> I a huge am, fan. Am, yeah. <laughs> they came from the real. This the bedazzle sweater came from the real Beverly. I, I heard they came straight from the real Beverly. That's dope. That's really cool because it is all said about it's around. It's based on a guy Adam Goldberg's life. Yeah. Pressure for you living out this guy's story. Um, it's it's like. It's more of like an honor thing because yeah. like, I really respect the guy and like like what he's doing, like what he writes and stuff, and uh, and he's really kind of just open about it and like he writes how he would act. So it's like the writing is just so good that like you can kind of just jump into it. Exactly, you go with it. Where do you see yourself in the next two, three, four two. years? Do you think about that at all? I not really, yeah. but like I'm hoping staying in the business, but yeah. I, are you okay with not staying in the business? I feel like I, I got to be. Like, yeah. You know, like it's really volatile. You never know if it's going to keep going or not. But yeah. like, I'll keep pushing strong and hoping that it'll keep keep coming. But like – and then I was thinking like college. Yeah, like of course. Because I'm 16. It's coming. You have a few years, it's I know. Like, so like I was thinking like what what happens with the whole college? Thing? Okay. So first of all, you have su- such a great attitude, dude. Such a great attitude. Spot on. <laughs> But college, for me at least, because I've been doing radio now for oh, close to a decade, I had to nice. make that decision. No college or college. And it's a personal decision. I'm not going to tell you which way to go. But I'm going to say, honestly, it was one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make. And I ended up not going. I went for a semester and then I ended up leaving because I got you know a, a steady gig over at Nickelodeon. But like it, 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 it's, it, was, it was a challenging decision. And are you happy with, like, do you think? More than happy. It was the greatest decision I ever made because it allowed me solely to focus on something that, one, was my career throughout high school that I couldn't 24-7 focus on, you know, because I had to balance it. But once that got out of the way and I became confident and secure within myself because, you know, you all, I grew up in a town where everybody in high school was going to college. And yeah. if you didn't go to college, it was taboo. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And it, it was challenging. But once I became okay with myself and confident in the decision that I made, then I was able to really go full throttle into my career and think about life. And ultimately, I've matured way faster than all my friends. And you know what? I have a great career. We have a great show here. And it's, it's a different awesome. world. Yeah. It's cool. But, dude, you have the best freaking attitude ever. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you're, you're smart, man. I, do, you, like, do you meet other kids who have been in the business for years and years and years? Because I, I'm sure like some of, some of the, the kids that play, you know, that, that play like extra roles or, you know, your friends, some of them have probably been in the business for like since they've been babies. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, a bunch of them, they, mm-hmm. they said like and their parents have either been in it or something. Exactly. Like, it's like passed on and everybody's yeah. involved. And But they seem very mature. Like compared yeah. to me, I'm like, oh, geez. Like, <laughs> you're still saying like poop and stuff and they're not, no. you know. We're still laughing at that word. So yeah, dude. Yeah. So, oh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> we use poop all the time, so yeah. keep it going. Awesome. Hey, <laughs> right, Sean Grambroni, dude, you're awesome, man. You're a really Thank good you. egg. And I wish you the best success and – you're going to kick some ass here. It's awesome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> may, may, may I ask a question before we go? <laughs> of oh, course. Cool. I just wanted to know who's your favorite person to do scenes with because I love the Adam Grandpa scenes. Those are my favorite. But what, who do you like to work with the best? Oh, that That's a real tough decision. I know. I don't want to put you on the spot, but. Like, uh, like, I think the last scene, one of the last scenes I just did was with, um, was with George, mm-hmm. George Siegel and, and. And like it's just so much fun watching him. Like when he's doing it, like like he says lines and like he does like a dramatic pose, but he makes it fe- seem natural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like so, just watching this legend like go to work, like it's it's special. It's very special. But like I, I can't really just say like that's my like favorite because like each person brings their own different little thing. Exactly, and it's, you get you can learn from each and every one of them too. Exactly. How do you approach a script? When you get a script, you know, every week, what's the first thing that you do with it? Okay, so the first thing, I usually get it, like, I either get it the night before, like, before the table read, uh-huh. or, like, during uh, or during the lunch break right before. So we usually have table reads during our lunch break. Okay. And um, what, what, I just kind of read it through and uh, try and see, like, where, like, each of the, like, the jokes are. And, yes. like, if I'm saying the joke, like... Or but like, yeah, I kind of just read it over and read it a bunch, and then like personally, I don't think I'm that great at table. Really? Yeah, like, like I enjoy the heck out of doing it because it's like a challenge. Exactly. Which are which is fun to do a challenge thing, but I don't think like 
I'm that because like if you're not, you're just sitting behind a desk. Exactly. Reading. It's like a voice. And it's essentially a cold read, too, a little bit, depending on how often you can read through it before. Yeah, it's, it's not like you don't get a bunch of practice time. Yeah, I, I see that. And I, 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 okay, so are you making notes in your script? What are you doing? Like, when you have a, when you have a joke, do you, go to the, do you go to the director or do, do you have a vision for how Adam would react? Well, okay, so I have like a basic gist on how Adam will act. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then, like during like table reads, if there's something in the script like in excess, okay, I didn't know who they were at first, <laughs> and then I went back and realized I knew, uh, I think their most popular song. Yeah. Uh, now I can't remember it, so I guess not that well. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, but like then they tell me like, oh, it's in excess, not inks or something. <laughs> um, but and then on the day when we're actually filming, I. Uh, like if I'm not doing it Adam ways, there's this because like Adam can't be on set 24 seven. Of course, he's like he's like he has his hands in every single aspect of the show because yeah. it's his family. Of course, so it, it makes sense. But um, there he has this guy named Lou Schneider, okay. who's a great guy, and um and so he also like he has like a a communication link with Adam with Adam. Okay, and uh, so he like tries to make sure everything's going. Going Adam standard. Very cool. And then Adam also is watching the dailies while he's doing his like writing or stuff. Wow. That's... So, so I do get like tweaked on like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Adam. <laughs> wow. That's really interesting. Sean, you are the nicest guy. We can speak to you forever. You are super talented, man. I really love the show and you should you should be really proud. And I think your parents should be proud too. And you, awesome. Come back whenever you want, man. Oh, I'd love to come back. This hey, is great. <laughs> come and chill. You shoot right down the street. You like? Do you like Hollywood overall? Like you like the vibe here? Oh, overall, I love it. Like yeah. at first, I was worried because I'm a Four Seasons kind of guy. Of I love course. fall, but <laughs> right. But uh, this whole summer thing, like summer endlessly, endlessly. It's, yeah. it, you feel it, we just moved here from the East Coast, from New Jersey and New York. Oh, and we moved here in like January, and we're still getting used really? to it, right? Because I, for some reason, I feel like it's still one day. Like it hasn't. We haven't switched days yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like it's been <laughs> one long ass day. Like it's just endless. I, I totally agree. But so, which one are you preferring? Like, do you guys? Oh, four seasons. Four seasons, right? Yep. No, I love it here. What? <laughs> I like summer. I like it here so much. I like better. fall. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I can do without winter. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I could do with fall and like a nice spring. Oh, those. Yeah, right? There's something great about that. Yes. And if, I, like knowing that right now in New Jersey, the leaves are changing, it like makes me feel a certain way. Like I really miss it. It's like, it's like a tenderness. You yes. Know? And like <laughs> want to wear a sweatshirt or something. Like. <laughs> what do you miss the most about home? Uh, the food. Yeah. Because uh, Chicago has some great food and, and. Like, I feel like some people don't like it. Like, there's that whole New York, Chicago thing. Of course. But since I grew up, like, in that area, like, the pizza and the hot dogs. And, yeah. And, like, no ketchup on hot dog thing. Like, <laughs> it It's just great food that I, I miss. Like, Chicago pizza and oven grinder. Oh, I've never had Chicago pizza before, but I've seen pictures. I've stared at pictures for, like, <laughs> like very <laughs> long amounts of time. Ate them with your eyes. Oh, I, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Smelt my phone a little bit. <laughs> You know, it was it, it was a scene, but I, I got the vibe of the pizza, you know. Yeah, it's like that heartiness to it. It looks beautiful. Sean Grambroni, The Goldbergs, September 23rd, ABC. Thanks, friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>